Hi everyone, welcome to Lola's Frugal Life. This is episode number 112. This is my weekly meal planning episode. So please stick around for a few quick words from our sponsor and we'll get right into the episode. Hi everyone, welcome back to my weekly meal planning episode. And welcome if you're new uh, listening to this for the first time. Each week I have an episode where I share with you the meal plan that I have for my family for the upcoming week. Um, The purpose of the episode is really just to share with you in case you're interested in making some of the same meals or maybe you just need some motivation to sit down and make your meal plan and maybe hearing about other meal ideas might give you some inspiration of some things you want to make for the week. Um, This episode comes out every Wednesday morning except for last week when I totally messed up and it came out on Thursday morning because I was thinking that it was uh, Tuesday when it was actually Wednesday. <laughs> so, um, but otherwise it comes out every Wednesday. The meal plan starts on Saturday and it goes through the following Friday. So um, it gives you a few days um, if you did wanna use any of the recipes. And I do post the recipes on my website, on my uh, Facebook page rather, which is facebook.com slash Lola's Frugal Life. I believe everything that is on there that I've shared so far in the previous episodes and then anytime I do one that I haven't used in a previous episode, I will post it on there also. Um, This is using a simple meal rotation, so there's definitely um, repeats over time, like for example, every other Monday we do hamburgers, every other Tuesday we do tacos, um, things like that. And then as the seasons change, I kind of start to rotate in different meals, maybe, you know, that we weren't really making in the summer so much, but maybe now we're making more in the winter. And all the meals don't always rotate, but I do try and keep a rotation going to make it really simple, because that way, as soon as I have a meal, I can go forward whatever amount of time I decided. If it's two weeks, every two weeks, then I go two weeks forward in the meal plan, put it down. When two weeks comes, that meal plan's already almost filled from everything that was rotating over time. So that's the reason why I do that. It just makes it really simple and I think it's really important to have a meal plan because it helps save you time and money and um, it's just really helpful in getting through each day. So anyway, so this meal plan starts, oh, I forgot to say too, Um, I always forget something. (laughs) This meal plan is only for dinners. We don't plan for lunches specifically. Occasionally I will if there's something that I particularly wanna make or use up for lunch, Um, but usually we just do leftovers or frozen pizza or sandwiches or something like that. So this week's meal plan starts on Saturday, October 24th. So this is an example of where I'm uh, putting in something seasonal that we don't typically make um, throughout the rest of the year. And I probably only make like a couple of times throughout the winter, Um, but my one daughter always requests this recipe and it's um, pumpkin chili. It's, on, it's from um, allrecipes.com. It, it is a beef-based chili. I know it sounds weird, like pumpkin chili. It's not, it's not a chili um, that's mostly made of pumpkin, but it has pumpkin in it. Um, so it gives it actually like a really nice texture, and it does have some of like the pumpkin spice type seasonings in it, which um, just gives it like a really interesting taste. It's, it's really good, and it's nice for fall. It's something that usually like when fall starts coming around, my daughter's like, when are you gonna make pumpkin chili? So um, we're gonna be making that this uh, week. So that is for Saturday. I, I, I probably should have put some sides with that, but I actually didn't, I just had the chili. We'll probably maybe just um, heat up some bread or you know whatever, just to kind of go on the side with it, but that'll basically be our main meal. Then for Sunday, October 25th, We are doing um, Jenny O's Best Ever Meatloaf. That's from allrecipes.com also. Um, It's just a simple turkey meatloaf recipe. It's what my kids have grown up on, so that's what they're used to having. Um, They really like it. And with that, we're doing shells and cheese, and then just some random frozen vegetables or canned vegetables. I usually always have either some kind of frozen or canned vegetables, and I'll usually just kind of look and see what we have and heat something up. So that'll go with that. Then for Monday, we're doing um, hamburgers on Monday, and we're also gonna have with that oven fresh seasoned potato wedges. That is from allrecipes.com. That's a really simple, um, good side dish for hamburgers where you just take um, a whole potato, you cut it into eight wedges. Uh, You don't even peel it. Um, You just cut it up into like eight wedges. Um, You do a couple of potatoes or a few, whatever, however many, depending on the size. 
and um, you put them in a Ziploc bag and you add like olive oil, Parmesan cheese, like onion powder, garlic powder, I forget all the ingredients, but um, and you shake it up and then you spread it out on a baking sheet and then you bake them and they come out really good as a side dish for um, hamburgers. Um, and then we're also just doing a can of pork and beans with that and I'm also making um, for my daughter who doesn't eat meat, I'm making her homemade black bean veggie burgers and that's from allrecipes.com. It's a really simple um, veggie burger recipe, like a black bean veggie burger recipe if you like that or if someone in your house doesn't eat meat, if you need an alternative. Um, it's really super simple to make and you just bake them in the oven. So I wind up actually just baking them in the oven while I'm cooking the hamburgers um, on the stove or the grill depending on the time of year and it kind of just all comes together at the same time, so it works out good. Uh, okay, so that was Monday. Tuesday is Chipotle night. Um, every other Tuesday we do tacos, and then on the alternate Tuesday, we do um, what I call Chipotle night. We're not ordering out Chipotle. We do like a copycat uh, Chipotle night, so I don't have like a specific recipe for this, but what I do is I just broil up some chicken, under the broiler, like I season it with like some chili powder, some um, seasoned salt, a little um, olive oil, and I just broil it under the broiler. Um, so it gets almost like a grilled um, uh, consistency, you know, like I like slightly overcook it under the broiler a little bit. And then we'll put that out. I'll make like brown rice. I'll put out um, avocado, sour cream, um, salsa, like, you know, like all the stuff that you would put in a bowl if you were somewhere like Chipotle. So that's what we're doing for Tuesday. For Wednesday, we're doing fried flounder. Um, I don't have a recipe for that. I just buy a bag of frozen flounder. I usually get it at BJ's. They have the big bags of the fish where it's like individually frozen. So you can take out however many pieces you want and then I just bread it um, and fry it. So there's not really much to that. Um, and then with that, we're doing the five ingredient instant pot mac and cheese. This is one of my Go to sides. I haven't made it in a while, but it's really super easy. Um, it's it's it is an instant pot recipe, so you do need an instant pot to make it. But it's from um, FoodNetwork.com, and literally, you take I think if I'm remembering the measurements right, it's four cups of macaroni, four cups of water, and you cook it for four minutes in the instant pot, and then you just add a can of evaporated milk, and then. Um, shredded cheddar cheese and you just mix it all up and the mac and cheese is done and it comes out really good. So we're doing that with the fried flounder and then again we're just going to do a vegetable side dish, either some something canned or um, one of those like steam fresh type vegetables that I always have on hand. Okay, that's Wednesday. Um, Thursday we're doing scrambled eggs, oh, so Thursday is breakfast for dinner. I, I forget exactly how I've been rotating it and I don't even know if I even have an official way, but I think kind of what I've been doing is like every other Thursday has been like breakfast for dinner, and then the off Thursdays has been like a soup and grilled cheese. I try and do something really simple on Thursday nights because I um, go grocery shopping on Thursday, so I don't want to go grocery shopping and then have to come home and make like some um, more time consuming meal. So that's why I picked Thursdays for like either breakfast for dinner or like soup and grilled cheese. So this week is breakfast for dinner, so we're doing scrambled eggs, um, turkey bacon in the oven, and um, uh, home fried potatoes. So the home fried potatoes that I make is really basic. I just chop up um, a bunch of potatoes, um, some peppers, and some onions, and I toss them in olive oil and some salt and pepper, and I cook them right in the air fryer. You could just toss them on a baking sheet and bake them in the oven. Um, what I like about cooking them in the air fryer is I have those going in the air fryer while the turkey bacon is cooking in the oven, so it works out really um, good to do it that way. The, um, the turkey bacon in the oven, it's not a recipe, but it's on um, brendid.com, B-R-E-N-D-I-D, -E and it just basically tells you how to cook it. Um, I mean, it's simply just putting the turkey bacon on a baking sheet and you cook it at 400 degrees on one side and you for 10 minutes and you flip it over and cook it for like about another five to 10 minutes depending on how crispy you want it. But it's my favorite way to cook turkey bacon now because it just comes out so good. I believe you could do the same with regular bacon too. I know I've seen it, that's what gave me the idea. I just don't know like if the time and the temperature would be the same, but you could definitely just look that up. Uh, so that's Thursday. Um, Friday, our last meal of the week for the meal plan 
I'm doing tender Italian baked chicken. That's from allrecipes.com. This is a really good basic like breaded chicken recipe. Um, in this recipe, you actually coat the chicken in mayo and then you dunk it in like a um, Parmesan breadcrumb mixture and then you bake it and it comes out really good. Um, it's not like super crispy like a, like a regular chicken cutlet, but it's more just like, um, I don't know, not like fancy, but like more like a kind of a chick, like a, the breading, it's not like supposed to be crunchy. It's more like a, a tender chicken. I don't know how to describe it, but it comes out really good. And I'm having that with a new recipe that I haven't tried yet. So I can't say for sure if it's going to be good, but it looks like it would be good. It's called broccoli pasta side dish and it's from tasteofhome.com. And it's basically like a pasta dish with fresh broccoli, um, like olive oil, butter, salt and pepper, just a real basic kind of um, broccoli pasta dish, Parmesan cheese, and you could do it with like linguine or thin spaghetti. So I thought that would go really well on the side with the baked chicken. And that could be cooked on the stovetop while the chicken's baking in the oven. Um, so I thought it'd be kind of convenient to make also. So we'll see, I will share that recipe. Um, hopefully it, it's good. And then um, that can be part of my rotation occasionally. So that's it for this week. Um, don't forget to subscribe if you like this show. If you have any feedback um, or suggestions on anything or any um, episode suggestions for my other weekly uh, Monday episodes, which are more topic based, please feel free to reach out to me. I'd love to hear from you. You can reach me through Facebook at facebook.com slash Lola's Frugal Life. You could also join my private listeners group, which is at facebook.com slash groups slash Lola's Frugal Life. I'd love to hear from you. We have a nice group forming. I know there's going to be many conversations to come in the future, talking about um, meal planning and budgeting and frugal things and all the type of, types of things that I like to talk about on the show. Uh, also, if you would be kind enough to leave me a five-star review, I would much appreciate it. It really helps the show reach more listeners, which is helpful to me. So if you wouldn't mind, that would be really great. And uh, that's it for today. So thank you so much for listening, and I hope you have a really awesome day.